Hi guys, it's Madame Raru and the Magic Tarot 1, 2, 3. I'm coming to you with a reading, okay? Uh, this one just jumped out at me. We have the Empress on the board. We have an arrogant masculine uh, performing voodoo. There was some form of hidden agenda and uh, an eternal cycle. Yeah. Uh, misfortune. Misfortune for this uh, masculine. His current misfortune, loss of wealth. <laughs> okay, so this person was trying to do voodoo on Yubu, and they, they lost it all. Shuffle the next deck, and we have the masculine the emperor on the bottom. Oh, um, who's wearing the false mask? Who's this person? This masculine, this arrogant voodooist tried to cloak himself as your emperor. Um, let's shut that again. But this is an eternal cycle. I want to know what the eternal cycle is. We all know this person has lost. They're, they're, they have no inspiration, financial, not, nothing. Wealth, no inspiration, no spark. They're dull. They're Boring. Helpful, nat natural, harmful. Fairies are, is on the bottom of the deck. What's going on, Spirit? What is this? We got fairies. We got what's going on with this elegant um, mescal. Oh, wow. Three forms of sorrow. There was some spiritual uh, entity assistance. And they were using the elements of the the world, okay? Fire, water, earth, and air. Eight four seven is significant at this time. They did death in a potted plant. Somebody did death in a pot of plant. And a binding spell. Sit, sitting here looking at it. This is this is crazy. Hidden agenda. What's this loss of blood? What's this loss of blood? Ooh. Loss of wealth and then it comes unexpected good fortune. What? Really? This is a term of curse. Vampire. And this person is scrying. They're scrying on the Empress. The vampire is crying on the empress. I believe that's the masculine. There's a servitude. There's a servitude that they used. Ritualistic too. They were, this person's ritualistic. They've been doing rituals. What's the energy at the bottom of the deck? Sick in a fall. Stay in their bed, no longer rest. Wow! Invisibility. This person, this masculine, is doing the most. Too much, if you ask me. Yes, there was assistance. To cause the death. Why? If he wanted to appear to be the emperor. Something you won't see. The next deck I'm using is the horror deck. And this is uh, 
Nightmare Before Christmas, and Hocus Pocus. The first deck is Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, and then the third is the Horror deck. I'm being told right now, Voodoo Priestess, I'm being told right now to check at on another deck. Wow. Wow. The devil. Judgment made by the devil? Hmm. All right. So, what what is it you want to tell me? Uh, who who is this person that is uh, has this death spell in a potted plant and a spell to sicken folk? Who, who is this person? You know. Okay, well, they're watching. They're watching. They're scrying, of course. Okay, there's a scrying again. They're watching. Almost. This is a young masculine. That's why he's dumb. Inspiration, sitting for servitude. Magic was blocked. It, and this person tried to do it on the Queen of Cups energy here. Why? Why? What, what was this all about? Why did they do this? What was their reason? To create a tower moment in this uh, Empress's life. The world and so I'm kind of just speaking. It's a pair. It's two people. A younger masculine and a older masculine. They're magicians. Illumination on this situation. Illumination on the situation. False person. What else? Well, we know they're false. Who were they doing this on? Was they doing it? It was almost looking like they were doing it on other <laughs> at this point okay trying to see reap their benefits seeds planted they wanted to come to come to life planted ember they did a planting death a death spell okay so oh shit I just got a full on chill what I just picked up was uh this young page of wands was casting on this masculine king of wands energy about this empress that that's what it is that's what it is we said yes this empress is a voodoo priestess okay then remember i said that it was and look she's she's very abundant okay this person is watching to see if this that spell worked on this masculine. I feel like this scrying vampire is the king of wands. Wow. Wow. 
victory. What? What? What's this victory? High priestess. Whoa. Victory for the high priestess. Some truth is being told right now. With that, with that king of swords. I feel like too the high priestess may be in the king of swords energy because of this bullshit. She may have been injured. During the spell work. On the masculine. Because she's tied to her masculine. She, she got some form of effect of it. What else do you want to this high priestess? Burdens. Why is the burdens here? Bitch been coming out very often. They try to put burdens on this uh, high priestess here. Is this it? They wanted her to walk away from this King of Wands energy. This Rudeus. They want her to walk away. They put burdens. They th this whole situation was burdensome. It's like the closer the masculine got to the high priestess, the more spell work they did. But why is this page of cups here? What's this all for? Why the empress? Definitely some form of offer that's coming in to heal the situation. I believe that's coming through spirit. There's a judgment call. Archangel Michael. There's a judgment call for this burden that occurred. Closing out the cycle. Okay. Um, look at this. A hidden demon. There it is. There it is. I don't think you have this to worry about. This is a hidden demon. The hidden demon might also might be on. There's on it's on. It's in the mix. Did these motherfuckers forget about the demon they fucking invoked? Cycles being closed out. Judgment. Angels and demons are on the board. She's the high priestess. She's young. Uh, some form of healing coming in for her. I feel like this demon may have left the situation, but not hasn't left the agreement. But this young Rudeus uh, who thought he was about something. The fact that he thought that he could uh, be with a high priestess is crazy. Because he's so immature. Okay, I'm a female. Shake your There's another person that shows up. Can't get this demon. Heaven's wrath. You want to know something? What I just picked up? Candle magic. Uh, what I just picked up was that uh, this young voodooist right here, he has a karmic female that is doing magic on him and it's going to cause heaven's wrath on him. 
I don't think, um, I feel that she's smart enough not to go against this voodoo priestess. This voodoo priestess literally minds her business. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah, this, vo this voodoo masculine is a karmic masculine. So the, the karmics are fighting amongst each other now. Three forms of sorrow. Whoever you are, you're going to die. Haunted by the past. Um, karmic masculine, voodoo, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, she's poisoning your food. <laughs> it's gonna cause an early death. That's what she's doing. She's also using this this demon to help her. That's what you didn't see. Where you're so pressed about this voodoo uh, high priestess. You were so pressed. You forgot to watch your own back. You forgot about this one here. Someone that you broke up with. Someone that you broke up with but you guys are still friends. And you, got, you eat from her. She's attacking you through your stomach. And that will be the completion of war. Amen. Now, um, I had got these cards here, and Spirit is, is guiding me to use them. Keep in mind, I haven't used these cards yet. And I don't know what the hell they're going to say. But these are beasts. So they're about to be unleashed from this mix here. The Voodoo Priestess. You also have a. a Vampire world on the board. And then you got these two baboons. They're putting themselves where they don't belong. Spirit said, walk the fuck away because whatever you're doing is blocked. Masculine. Your ex is working on you. Clock is flashing. 902. 999 We have a dragon, an armed. Thunder Dragon on the board. The attack is 2400. This demon is, is this dragon is, uh, was summoned. <laughs> I, I feel like the voodoo priestess doesn't even realize her power, how strong she is. There's enough, she has dragons working magic key dragon 2800 attack that's the level you unleashed the beast she did anyway unknowingly unknowingly yes wow coming out hot She, when she went in to destroy, this is Pegasus. When she went in to destroy whatever the fuck burdens you were putting on her, she opened a portal. This is the voodoo priestess. She opened up a portal that unleashed these dragons. Okay. This is a special effect first edition card. Um. Uh, She controls all the monsters on her board. Wow, wow. This is a defense that she has, a defense mechanism that she can use at any time. This, this uh, voodoo priestess, I'm going to say it again, can summon beasts. 
Oh, she may also control the wind. Uh, chimes is very significant. She did use a spell. This is a spell card. She did a trap. She trapped you. <laughs> this voodoo priestess trapped the karmic masculine. She did. She did. Another special edition card. She may use a pendulum a lot. Um, there's no negotiation here. Like, they came, they heard her cry, they heard her battle cry. And there is no negotiation. For this karmic masculine so this this karmic masculine is about to get a double whammy if not a triple because we also have the vampire lord right here is that him yeah it's him Let me keep going. okay so no rest for the wicked again all 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 the things that you sent to her are completely demolished and destroyed she casted a spell and this opened a portal for them to come to her aid, which they did, which they're doing. Um, so basically, you're going to be broke and dead. That's what I think of. You guys have no idea who you be fucking with. You guys were fools. You guys were fools. Karma, rule of fortune, and victory. Okay? Victory. The contract was to make sure that you are the hangman. You're the sacrifice. You didn't know, now you know. When you decided to go after this, uh, Vampire Lord and this High Priestess here. You committed a crime that both the underworld and the upper world are ready to defend. So you were the sacrifice. You sacrificed yourself. You sacrifice yourself. That's the King of Wands from earlier. That's the King of Wands from earlier. That's the masculine that you cast it on. I wonder what he did. What powers he unleashed on you? Let's let's find out. What are the, what are the the monsters and beasts that were uh, casted on his behalf? He casted a spell that says it's overfusion. The spell is called overfusion. Well, damn. <laughs> Holy hell, 909 on the phone. Okay, they're telling me to pick the top of the card. This person may be a mechanic. Some form of mechanical person. Okay. Magic key again. So they both have a magic key. This is a ritual that, that summoned this monster. This key. Boy, oh boy. 
mechanics. Wow. Ritual effect. Wow. Battle survival. He survives. He's a warrior. Okay. He survived the battle. He survived this uh three forms of sorrow. Everything is, is literally being turned around on you, bro. Like you screwed up big time. You're destroyed. This is a world legacy. You've been destroyed. You're done. You're trapped. Something might happen to you on the stairway. Okay. You're definitely trapped. This is a trap card again. You're trapped, trapped. Ooh, double time. Trap, trap. All the damages that you cast it over, you return to you. And and your uh your karmic feminine is adding to the plate. Nine one one on the uh the clock. You're spiritually stalking the feminine, the voodooist. Wow. Oh. Keep your eyes peeled there, buddy. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep them peeled. Keep them peeled all the way back. Because this attack, you're not going to survive it. Spiritual stalker. Wow. I just cannot believe it. Spiritual stalker. You're going to require help. You mishandled your magic. You're going to require help. Lots of it. That's what I see on this board, baby. You're not going to survive none of this shit. None of it. And you and you were you were um told not to do this. You were told like there's another practitioner that told you not to do this. On the back of this person's head it said eyes. Eyes. You are marked. Marks me. You're a mark. You're done. That's it. That's all. Anything else I can say? Anything else good? All right. Victory over all, no matter the cost. And it cost you your soul. You may have tried to conspire with others, but it cost you your soul. Ah, here she go. You went to a feminine uh root worker and she only helps those that she can manipulate and she manipulated you confirmation she manipulated you she helped you who walked into the trap she helped you walk into the trap there you go she helped you walk into the trap she was actually part of the team that caused your death. That's the message. Okay? That was your judgment. Everything that you've done is blocked. And they come in for you. Thank you all for listening and watching. This is Madame LaRue and the Magic Tower. Magic Tower. I keep saying it. There's a magical tower moment happening. It's like her family wants in on this. Or his family. I was about to leave. They was like, hold on. Hold on, baby. There's a magical tower moment about to occur. Well, shit. But I just read out. I, I don't even know what else that, 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 that can happen to this fool at this point. I mean, you got the beast, the monsters, his ex. 
Well, give me one card. Give me one card of what you want to tell this fool about his dumb magic. His fool. The lovers pop up. They will be courting. I guess they wanted to rub that in your face. It's remember you were stalking them. <laughs> so they wanted you, you to know that, that you did not break up this couple. Your your plans to have them separated for eternity did not work. You're a fool. It's a tomfoolery. Cut and dry. Clear boundaries are being set right now. I do feel like you will be an example for anyone else. I don't feel like you will survive to tell your story. Yeah, here goes the young boy. You, and um, it's going to be victorious. What's this? Um, hardship is over for the couple. Okay. This masculine, this king of wands, is very reliable, resourceful, wise. You have entered a tense situation. Maybe raining where you're at. All right, so once we go back, there's there's uh, some form of balance that's going to be created. And you was, you was trying to bully someone. You was trying to bully. Who are you trying to bully? The, um, the vampire? Uh, how? <laughs> How can you bully somebody that was trying to teach you? You're supposed to honor them and be grateful that they were able, they were teaching the right way. Instead, you decided to go all the way left. You went left, and you're still watching. Yeah, oh, but you you won't you won't uh, survive at all. Look at this. She always pops the fuck up. Oh. That's her. Only help those that she can manipulate. The false high priestess. She stole your life. She stole your life. Yep. That's what she did, honey. She set you up to take the fall. Yeah, she sure did. She set you up. That's what you don't see on the cycle here. You thought it was an offer of a lifetime. He's going to put you in the king position. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to be king after this. After I get the high priestess and I take that nigga out, I'm going to be king. You're not. You're not. You're definitely not. Because now you're looking over your shoulder trying to seek refuge. Trying to find somebody on the world. Right? Are you trying to find the high priest, the empress, the voodoo high you think she gonna help you? She not. <laughs> She's not. She's not. That's your fight and your fight only. Nine eighteen on my card. That's your fight and your fight only. Here's the balance. Pop a leg bars on the floor. May God help your soul. This is Madame La Rue in the Magic Tarot One Two Three. If you'd like a reading, my link is in the bio or the description bar. Thank you and have a nice day.